into the public eye last year when his husband, Mayor Pete Buttigieg, launched an ambitious and unprecedented run for president. Well, now Chastin has a new memoir out tomorrow. It's called I Have Something to Tell You. And Craig got to talk with him to reflect on that historic campaign and his life before the spotlight. I wanted to make sure I was sharing my story my way. Amid a historic presidential run, Chastin Buttigieg went from being a middle school teacher to an overnight celebrity, often dubbed his husband's secret weapon. Hello, Brooklyn! But for the 31-year-old Chastin, born to a conservative family in Traverse City, Michigan, where childhood consisted of fishing and winning 4-H trophies, there was a secret buried within him. I felt, uh, especially here in northern Michigan, that I was supposed to be a certain way. And when I started realizing I was gay, uh, it was eating me alive. And I felt very broken and was very confused about how I would fit in uh, with the rest of the world and really never saw a future. I I was pretty convinced it was all gonna come crashing down on me. Chaston was 18 when he came out to his family. What do you remember most about that? Uh, The pain, it was painful not because of what my family did or said, but because I was so certain that I would lose them. Um, And I just ran. Why? I was just so certain that if I came out, I would be a disappointment. I figured why would they want to associate themselves with someone like me? He spent months living with friends and in his car until his family called. Your mom calls and wanted you to come home. Talk about their journey in, in accepting you. My my parents, my family, they are remarkable people. They listened and they asked all the right questions. And and when they got it wrong, um, they were quick to apologize and quick to ask how they could get it right. I think my mom and my dad were just scared for me. Chastin shares his experience in a new memoir called I Have Something to Tell You, also opening up about another painful but foundational moment in his life that he kept a secret for years. One one painful memory that you, you write about is a, a time where you were a victim of sexual assault. Why did you feel that was something important to share in the, in, in the book? I decided to share a lot of vulnerabilities, talk about things that shaped me for better or for worse mostly because I don't want people to feel alone. His life took a turn in 2015. Along came Pete. Pete was already the mayor of South Bend, Indiana, and the two immediately hit it off. In June 2018, they tied the knot, and less than a year later, their lives would catapult onto the national stage. I am running for president of the United States. As I understand it, you're folding laundry one day, uh, he comes in, and he's like, you know, I, I think I may want to run for president of the United States. <laughs> he says that, you think what? I mean, I, I told him to go for it. Any regrets about that? No. No, I, I would do it again in a heartbeat. I wish I just would have been a little easier on myself uh, once, once it started, but you know, now I, I've learned so much about reclaiming my story, finding power in my story, uh, and, and I wouldn't change it. Pete and Chaston hit the campaign trail, the first gay couple to do so, even winning the Iowa caucuses. But ultimately, the numbers weren't there, and the historic run ended this March. I told Pete to run because I knew there were other kids sitting out there in this country who needed to believe in themselves, too. With the campaign and Pete's mayoral term over, the couple under quarantine is looking ahead to the future. Hello. How are you, sir? Nice to see you. Peter, how, how proud are you of, of the of the new author? Oh, very. I mean, you know, he's got such a great story. His story is really compelling. You know, I've always been proud of him, but I'm really proud of this. Oh, what? That's sweet. What a, <laughs> my wife wouldn't say that about me, I can tell you. <laughs> Chelsea, I, I'm curious about one thing. When you guys, when you got married, what made you decide to take his last name? Why was that so important to you? I just thought it would be nice to have uh, the same last name. I thought it would be nice for our kids to have the same last name. You just mentioned kids. Is there an announcement? <laughs> no, <laughs> well, I, I wish. Like share just yeah. yeah, but we're thinking about yeah. it. Yeah. One of the things we always like to ask our guests is what's next? You know, the question of what's next for us, in a way, like everybody else, is, is part of the question of what's next for America. What's next nationally is, is new leadership and a new president uh, doing everything I, I can to make that a reality. 
It's such a political answer. I, to, I, I'm enjoying isolation so much. I like, I guess lunch is next. It's <laughs> uh, a good conversation. Yeah. And for more on Chastin's new book, I have something to tell you. You can head to today.com slash.